Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Welcome <laughs> yes. to, to Mom's Sunday dinner. So today we're going to make shipwreck and everybody is asking how to make it. It's an old fashioned recipe that my father did when he, he used to work on the um, ferries, PI ferries. And they used to make this a lot for the crew people that are that worked on the ship. They get their meals free. So the, the chef on the boat used to make this shipwreck. And that's why he called a shipwreck a ship and a wreck. So, anyways, <laughs> my father. <laughs> so you know, but they did grab the, your life vest. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> so, anyways, my father used to make it. My father was the cook of the family, and he used to make it, and it was a a favorite, and it was a family staple. Yeah, all of her siblings love it and make it, and we grew up on it. Mom grew up on it. My grandfather used to make this for how many people? Like all the grandkids, all well, of them? Yeah, like I had eight kids in my family. So we always were, was a family of 10. So dad used to always make it for us. And then as our family grew, as we got married and had kids, then he would always make it too for Sunday. And it's, and it's cheap and it's easy and that's why he made it. Yeah. So we're <clears> going <throat> to show you the ingredients and take you step by step on how to make it. There's no real recipe. It's very much... Do what you want, eyeball it. Yeah. <clears throat> so you, it goes with hamburger. Um, I usually buy lean hamburger because you don't cook the bur the hamburger when you put it in. So you don't want a lot of grease in your in your shipwreck. So do lean or extra lean? <clears throat> but yeah, but I'm sure my father used the cheapest hamburger, which was regular hamburger, and it was maybe that's why it's be better. Maybe than that's mine. why nothing it's not we should try that. Yeah, maybe it's the grease for missing the <laughs> made his taste so good. But anyways, and then you just use white potatoes and you need table salt. Onion powder, you could put onions in it, but you know what kids are like, kids hate onions, and so my father always just put onion powder or onion salt in it. And trick is tomato soup, but it has to be Heinz tomato soup. If you use Elmer's or Campbell's, it's okay, but it's not as good as the Heinz. My grandfather always stressed, <clears throat> it has to be Heinz tomato soup. Right, so, and that is all the ingredients. I usually put it in a casserole dish like this, um, or if you're just a family of two, you can just do a smaller, and you don't even need to use as much big package of hamburger or as many potatoes. But you'll see as we're making it how you can. And mom's making a big load tonight, so she's putting hers in a roaster. Yeah, just that I'm gonna put more potatoes in, and I have extra hamburger I'm gonna put in just because we're going to have more people here tonight. All right then, so come along with us and we'll show you how it's done. Great, here's a look at the ingredients again. Oh. <laughs> Move, mom, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm joking, mom. Move, mom, you did your job. No, you're good. Onion powder, salt, your potatoes, and your hamburger. Okay, so. The hardest part of it all is just peeling your potatoes. Yeah, so what we're gonna do now is take our potatoes and peel, do you peel and chop them? Yeah, you peel and then you peel. Cut them into slices like you were making like salad potatoes. Yeah. So. I love to trick one thing. I got this little um, vegetable peeler from Tupperware, and it's the best thing ever invented. Best thing Tupperware ever did. So I love it. The Tupperware brand? Yeah. Well, I'm sure everybody that has a household has their favorite vegetable peeler. Do you want me? Do you have an extra peeler? Um. Or I can chop those. Or you want to do it all yourself? No, I don't. Want to. God, more help than me. Okay. <laughs> you want to chop them up. The potatoes? On a plate? <laughs> no, what, what are, are you doing, Jack? What are you, what, do, you, do you have a cutting board? <laughs> I use a plate at home. Oh, what you do is just wash them. Yeah. Take a knife. Hair back. Yeah. And then take your pan. What? My goodness, Jeff, you're a rookie. Nobody's there probably laughing at you. What? And you go like this here. Oh. Was that too dangerous for you? Yeah, Mom, do you see my fingers? How many times you come over and I'm bleeding? <laughs> gushing blood from the fingertips. Thanks, Mom. One thing about me, um, quick and simple food. I guess I'm kind of like 
The simple simple recipes? Simple recipe, yeah. Simple, like my lasagna recipe is simple as anything. So I kind of make simple comfort food. If you want fancy food or gourmet food, you got to go over to Jacqueline's on Tuesday night. <laughs> there you get gourmet and fancy. Here you get simple, comfort, easy meals. So what, what we're doing is just slicing up the potatoes into little slices. The thinner the slices, the, the shorter time it will cook. But if you like thick slices, then that's fine. You just have to cook it a little bit longer. So we're just lining the bottom of the roaster with the potato slices. Like, like as if you were doing scalloped potatoes, kind of. Exactly. Except there's no room involved. Some people, like I know my sister, like she puts vegetables in hers. She puts like peas and carrots and that just to... Really? Yeah, but I don't. Myself, I personally just like the original simple potatoes, hamburger. But if you really like carrots and peas and that, by all means, make it your own. Yeah, you can kind of use this, what we're doing as your base recipe. And you can make it however you want. Yeah. Back in the day, my dad used to make it on top of the stove, like on a big, in a big pot. And the only thing about that is that you always had to stir it so it wouldn't stick to the bottom. So I found that was a lot of work because you were always kind of like at the stove. So I did my own take to it and I just um, put it in a pot, like in a roaster, and put it in the oven and then halfway through just stir it around and then it's just easier. But I know my sister-in-law, she does it and she does a really good job making it. And she puts hers in the slow cooker. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. We had hers in the summer. I probably have a vlog of it somewhere, but yeah, and it's really, really good doing it that way. But I yeah, so you could do this exact thing, but in the slow cooker, or I don't understand how you did. Oh, you did it in a pot, but yeah, you would just do the same thing, but you would put it in a big pot and you would put it on top of the stove and cook, and cook it on a burner. And I think that might have been a little bit faster than putting it in the oven, but. Because growing up you had to cook quick because we were hungry. Yeah. <laughs> mom was a working mom. You were a working mom that did all the stay at home, stay at home mom jobs. Yeah. Well, I guess a lot of moms are like, I don't know how working moms do it truthfully. And I had to work every weekend. I just had Sundays off. But then I always had Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Tuesdays was my favorite day growing up. Yeah, because Tuesday the house was clean. <laughs> Wasn't clean the rest of the week. We had a nice big meal. Yeah. Hey, maybe that's why I like doing Tuesday dinners. Funny maybe. how that fell on a Tuesday. Yeah. And she'd always have cookies. Yeah. I used to love coming home off the bus when you were home. Show you how our pot's doing. Or our roaster. So you just cut them into... However big you want slices, but mom says the thinner they are, the faster they'll cook. And so what I usually do is just fill the bottom with mm -hmm. a layer of potatoes. This is definitely yep. full of yep. a layer. Yep. Maybe you can just do these two potatoes and yep. then we'll, we'll do the next step. Okay. Sorry guys, I kind of have a little frog in my throat the last couple of days. My What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> not naming him. I want him to go pretty fast. It's called being... Grandma of the year, catching all of the bugs that your grandkids yeah. bring to you. <laughs> and two little grandsons, they been sick all last week and with the cold and the ear infections and all that kind of fun and stuff. This time year. So, anyways, they shared it with their, their grandmother, so I have a, a frog in my throat today. Is this looking good? Looking good. It's nice having a helper. I know. Oh my god, I should help you on Sundays, but then I'm going to be a day off for me. No, because I don't want to go help on Tuesdays. <laughs> That's a day off. Oh, I know. <sighs> okay, so now, after you get a, a nice layer on, you take your hamburger. I'm going to make sure that they can see you. Yeah? And you just put the hamburger. Just Raw? Up. Raw hamburger, yeah. 
Ugh. But some people, well, I know my, um, some people that have really bad heartburn and they find. Like my father. <laughs> Yeah. Poor dad. Is, oh, <laughs> we made him suffer it out, guys. <laughs> yeah, so I, um. So you just break it up in yeah, little pieces? Okay. And it's no, just. Some people, sorry, I cut you off. Yeah, some people cook their hamburger first because they find if you cook your hamburger and drain the grease, then make it, then it's, um, they don't get heartburn. So oh. if you find you're making it and your husband or yourself's getting kind of heartburn, and you can try that. But I am, um, I just find that's too much work. This is all one pan, that's what everybody likes, just a one pan kind of meal. Yeah. Yeah, so you just spread it all with, with your hamburger. Mm hmm. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now, yeah. you know what I mean, for being raw, you um, put your season then on it. Salt and pepper. I'll pass it to you. Or not um, pepper. No. If I was making it, I'd be throwing in. Pepper. And you can if you want. I would be throwing in garlic and pepper, and but it's not my dish. So this is how they do it. In so, mom's family, so. The trick is, is a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. And what I do too is, you put this in the oven, mm -hmm. and after 30 minutes, you take it and you, like, stir it all around, and you put more salt in it. But if you don't eat salt, well then I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> onion or yeah. onion powder, onion salt. Mm -hmm. I put under powder because it's better than onion salt for you. And then you just put a nice layer of onion powder just to give it some flavor. There we go. Now we take your tomato soup. Your Heinz tomato soup. Heinz tomato Mom's soup. Mom's got her first sponsorship. Yeah. Heinz. <laughs> Where's your thing? Oh, right here? Yep. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen one like that in forever. What do you have? Um, Mine's just like a plastic looking one. But that's the one down. we used to have growing up. Well, you know what? I used to um, have all the other ones, like the fancy ones. Yeah. And they all break. Yeah. You can't go wrong. And they just pour it over the top. And I'll get a spoon. <laughs> Move away. Okay, and then I would open up another can. And it's really good for leftovers. Yeah. Like when your father was here. Mm -hmm. This was his favorite meal, I and know. he always wanted me, me to make extra, yeah, because he loved leftovers. Yeah, and but since our family's growing on Sundays, we do really don't have very much leftovers. So you we know. keep wanting to join our family, so we would keep taking in new members. The more the merrier. All right, so then we're going to leave our last can to put over the top. Okay, so, so this now is two cans. Two cans, yeah. And this is with a big batch, so. Yeah. So if you're just making, say, a normal casserole dish, then you would, two cans would probably be lots. Yeah. yeah. You basically just want to cover it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so now what are you doing? So now we're going to... Um, Put more potatoes. Actually, my aunt, which is my mom's sister-in-law, so mom's brother's wife, brought this over when dad passed a big thing. She's like, anything I can do? And I think you said, can you put a shipwreck? It just seemed to be such a comfort food. Yeah, and then have someone else make it and just, oh, I just remember that we were like, can you bring, I think we're the only person we asked. You know how people say, is there anything I can do for you? And yeah. we'd all be like, no, no, no. And then her, we're like, can you bring shipwreck, please? Such a nice meal. And too, like, like, my family likes it more potato than meat portions. 
me myself, I like more meat than potatoes. So I would, if I was making this for myself, I wouldn't put as many potatoes in it because I like more meat. So you guys always like more potatoes, right? Yes. Yeah. Because whenever I make and put, make and put potatoes, more potatoes, they always like, Mom, this is your best batch ever. I'm there, ugh, could use a little bit more hand, right? <laughs> Sometimes you just use what you got in your freezer. But it means it's a quick, easy, delicious, hearty, comfortable meal in the winter time. I think we even had this camping though too. <laughs> well, sometimes when you're camping, once in a while you just get tired of oh, salads salad and, and barbecue. Yeah. So is it so nice someday just to have it like especially when Kathy brought it over in the slow cooker like it didn't have to put an oven on so you go to the beach come home your shipwreck's ready shipwreck's ready and I really haven't met anybody that didn't like it the only thing I ever see when people say I can't eat it it gives me heartburn that's the trick. Give your heart first. Cook the hamburger first. Florence's boyfriend loves it. Trevor likes it. I like it. Or some people put water in it. Like we put a can of water in. You've done that. A, you've done that a lot. If you didn't have enough soup. Yeah. If she only had like two cans of soup or whatever, she would just add a can of water. Yeah. No one knew the difference. You pretty much just need to. To cook your potatoes. So have to let us know in the comments below if you've tried it. And then was it was it a thumbs up or thumbs down? And let us know if you want more cooking videos like this from me and mom together or just mom. <laughs> Hey, no. just edit, not just, just edit. me, I'm shy on the camera. Edit myself out. Dad, remember Daddy used to always want you to do this? Yeah. Well, my dad has passed away too, so he's probably making shipwreck up in heaven for a big journey. I know. <laughs> Where are you now? Making shipwreck. He was such a good cook, eh? But then your father would always say, no, let's go to Sandra's. No matter what. <laughs> Even, like, Jack, when you make homemade stew, and, and it is ten times better than mine. And he would never say, even though... Even though mine was better than hers, he would never, Even ever. though he would ask Jack to make it for him. Said, <laughs> 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 it wasn't as good as mine. He never would ever, ever, ever say someone cooked better than my mom. No. I think he knew he was, better. <laughs> yeah. He was smart. He probably did well. <laughs> well, the only thing I can't cook is eggs. <laughs> eggs. I can't cook pancakes, so there you go. Really? I can't flip them. Flop them? Uh, flip them. Oh, yeah. That's my problem with the, with the eggs. Like, everybody says, okay, your pan's too hot. You only put it on medium. You gotta use the flipper. I think I bought every flipper that's been sold in Canada, and none of them flip my eggs. None right. of them will flip my eggs. <laughs> my eggs fall. And then I like my yolk not broken. So that's out the window. But I can't even make scrambled eggs. <laughs> I don't mean eggs don't have a, a love relationship, that's for sure. But I love eggs myself, and I love that somebody else makes them for me. The last time she tried to make eggs, there was a frying pan that got thrown. <laughs> I know. Like I said, never in my whole life am I going to make an eggs again. <laughs> okay, Mom. There. Put the last bit of sauce on it. Yeah. Or soup. So what I usually do is um, cover this, oh, like you make sure you have it covered, and then <laughs> she's 
She doesn't like falcon. So then you cover it, and I set my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You just put it like this? Yep. You don't put no spices on it or nothing? No, nope. not until halfway. Okay, I'll show them. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the second layer. And um, cover it? Yep. And what do you cook it at? Cook it at 400 degrees for one hour. 400 degrees for one hour. Halfway time. You take At, it out. After 30 minutes? Yep. Okay. You take it out and you stir it all around. Mm -hmm. And then you add more salt. Yeah. And onion salt if you want. I usually just add salt. Yeah. And then you put it in the oven for another half hour. Mm hmm Then you take it out. Yeah. Stir it around again. Yeah. Then you just check and make sure your all your potatoes are soft. Yeah. So sometimes you would have to put it in the oven for another 15 minutes. It just depends on... On the potatoes? How, how thick the potatoes are in that. So you just cook them till the potatoes are yeah. done. So sometimes it might take an hour and a 15 minutes. Sometimes it might just take one hour exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And then you enjoy. Wow. Some people like putting ketchup on it when they're eating. Trevor it. does. Yeah. So does Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's only 1.30 now, so mom's not actually putting this in the... She's going to let this sit in the fridge, um, so she's not putting it in the oven until closer to supper time, but that's the steps there, and I'll show it to you yeah, once I'll it's done. I'll probably put it in the oven around 3.30, because then... Um, what we'll time? We're eating at 5.30. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll probably put it in the oven between 3.30 and 4, just in case it might take an extra 15, 20 minutes, because that is a big cost. Mm -hmm. So usually it just takes an hour. That's yeah. good. Okay, I'll show it to you once it's done, guys. And uh, we're having it tonight with some homemade rolls and probably some pickles. Do you have pickles? I do. We just have pickles. Okay, I'll show it to you once it's done. Until next time. It's the been final product. Okay. Just stir it. All the potatoes are soft. The hamburgers all cooked. The hamburgers all cooked. Here we go. Good. Everybody enjoy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shipwreck. With a roll. And some pickles. Let us know if you try it, guys. One or two. Oh, sure.